This is a picture of our house. Well, at least it's sort of a picture of our house. This is actually how it originally looked before all the additions were put onto it. My dad built this house in 1979. He was a crop duster in South Georgia during the mid to late 1970s. But there came a time when he and my mom decided that it was just time to move closer to home. So they moved home and continued work on this little off-grid cabin here. They bought an old church building, which at the time was 125 years old, and they tore it down to scavenge materials like wall studs, joists, and tin. And with some help from their own dads, they built an off-grid cabin in the woods. It even had an outhouse. But it was really never intended to be a permanent residence, just kind of a getaway from their small mobile home. But that plan changed one day when my dad watched his brother's mobile home burn to the ground in less than an hour. And that was when he decided that they needed to live in something just a little bit safer. And over the years, the house has seen a lot of add-ons and upgrades, like an upstairs and even electricity and running water, which are really handy. And I'm excited to continue the legacy of breathing new life into an old cabin once again. By the way, that's me on the bottom right of this picture and my dad on the left, probably around 1991. This is the kind of tape you use to stick on walls and stuff. The house that we live in is kind of in a perpetual state of being remodeled and it's kind of been that way for several, several years. We started by remodeling the kitchen. We used lots of lumber from my first sawmill, the old LT-10. We also converted the dining room into a room for my son and somewhere in there we redid the laundry room too. So today it's time to start on this part of the house and we put these tarps up, these drop cloths up because we're still living of course in the house and I don't want insulation dust and all kinds of garbage to get into the rest of the house so I kind of tried to block it off. But we're going to start on this section now and just kind of do it section by section until the entire living room is finished. So let's get started. What did, what did you bring that for? For if you need to cut something. Okay, thank you. Can you show me how it works? Like that. It works like that. Thank you. You're welcome. I got you some more tools, Dad. Thank you. You're welcome. Perfect, thank you. All right, we got a saw and a drill and an adjustable wrench and a hammer. Thank you. It's pretty cool seeing layers of a house and all the stories that these layers have to tell. You've got two different layers of linoleum here. There's an earlier layer here and a later layer here. It's pretty interesting.
I didn't mean to take the window with it. Oh. That ain't what I wanted at all. Oops. All right, for this next step, we gotta cut the water off to the house so we can get those pipes and all of that stuff to that old kitchen sink gone and get that cabinet out. So these are the two pipes here that were feeding that sink that y'all just saw. And I'm not gonna do anything fancy right here. I'm just gonna cap these off right here. Then I'm gonna shove the whole thing up under the floor. Uh, the trouble that I think I'm gonna have here is I don't think that the cap is small enough to go through the existing hole right there. So that may be something I need to fix before I start any of this. So I gave that some time to set and I uh, got the water back on. Let's go and check for leaks. These are looking pretty good. I don't think they're leaking, but I'm gonna leave them like this for, uh, for quite some time just to double check and make sure. And then we'll take these clamps off and shove them, shove them down in there. They should be just about even with the floor right there. This is also kind of interesting and I didn't know that this was here. I knew the drain was here, but it looks like the inlet for the plumbing used to be way down here at the other side of this cabinet. No telling how many re reconfigurations this house has gone through over the years. At this point, it's time to start taking down these wall boards and uh, well, these panels, I guess you could say. There's really not much special about these panels here. They're just four by eight sheets of quarter inch OSB. Uh, my real concern is what am I gonna find up under there? Of course, there's plenty of insulation, which is good. Um, but these studs, these wall studs, uh, am I gonna find termite damage? Um, what am I gonna find? I don't know. Let's just see. Let's start taking them down and see what we've got. signs of termites right here. I can try. Okay. Look at that.
Ooh, we got some issues. Got some real issues. Ugh. This is kind of bad news right here. This piece of paneling right here is stuck in between this stud and the outside wall. Um, not 100% sure how I'm going to get this one out. <laughs> So guys, I mentioned earlier that I am seeing a fair amount of signs here of previous termite damage. Now we've got in-ground bait stations around the house now, and I don't think we have any live termite, but termites have been here, and uh, it's looking like it's looking like we're going to have to replace some amount of these walls because of that. I just don't know how much, I don't know how extensive the damage is going to be. So this is our outside wall right here and there's a very small amount of termite damage right there. Insulation work is my favorite work. But so far it's not, well, never mind. I'm going to say it's not as bad as I thought it was. But I think it's as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> We've got a time capsule right here I, that, up under my hand there is actually my dad's name that he wrote and can y'all see that year it says 1979 there we go so i've kind of got the rest of this area done right here and there is some fairly extensive termite damage in here you can see that uh, it looks like they kind of tunneled onto the outside or ran up the outside in the sapwood of these studs here. A lot of these studs, a lot of the studs here are actually heart pine. It was from a very, very old church that was torn down. So these, this wood was actually used before it came into this house. But it looks like uh, they've decimated a fair amount of this. And these are old school, true two by fours made on a circle mill, but uh, that's okay. I've got a sawmill and I can make some true two by fours and rebuild these walls. Um, no big deal. I think I can probably see this right here, but this is the bottom plate and this bottom plate has been eaten up a little bit by termites as well. So I'm a little worried about the sill down at the bottom, but I've inspected the sill when we were working on another part of the house several years ago. And that sill was actually, I believe it was a pressure treated sill, but it was also coated with some kind of an insecticide. And um, what they were doing is they were actually building their little tunnels and tunneling around that sill. So I'm desperately hoping I'm going to get under the house and check but i'm desperately hoping that that's what they did here is they just tunneled around that seal to get to this good stuff that they could actually chew on so guys i crawled up under the house but there was no way to get to the seal from up under the house there was just not enough space so i yanked a board or two off on the siding over here and i was able to see the seal and uh thank heavens the seal looks great it's a double two by eight seal i talked to my dad it was new lumber pressure treated back in 1979 or so and sprayed with insecticide and it's from what i can tell it's just as solid as the day that it was put in so they're undoubtedly tunneling around those things getting into the walls so i'm glad we still got a good foundation we can go ahead with the walls now
So at this point, we're getting into an area that I've actually already remodeled. This is actually an interior wall. On the other side of this is our workroom, but you can see the new lumber. You can see these studs. These were actually cut on the old LT10 right here. So uh, these, are, these are looking really good. So this wall behind me doesn't have any insulation in it because it's an interior wall. And um, the 14 degree weather taught me that we had a couple weeks ago that if you can insulate it, just insulate it. So if I could go back in time and insulate this, I would, but thankfully here I am now, it's exposed and I'll be able to go ahead and stick some insulation in there even though it is an interior wall. The workroom tends to get pretty cold, so this is going to have insulation in it before it's said and done. So I've got some more termite damage in here and uh, some of it's not so bad. Uh, some of it's really, really bad, but it doesn't really matter in this particular area because we're actually going to knock all of this out or all the studs at least out. And then we will uh, put a couple of windows up here. So this, this area right here is really not a little piece of glass. Um, this area is really not a huge a huge emergency but anyway this is all going to be knocked out regardless it's kind of interesting how these things how these termites work uh, there was a section over here where they mostly ignored and then this area right here they just went to town so i'm not sure how they choose what they want to eat but uh, they ate a lot right in here this is kind of interesting that little piece of glass that i just picked up was right there y'all see how, how the termites see what they did they basically ate up the outline of the of the glass there. Well guys, that's going to do it for this video. On the next one, we'll try to get some 2x4s or some true 2x4s cut so that we can start framing out this window here and replacing the termite damage. But that was pretty good progress. We got this wall, got the paneling off of this wall, got the insulation out of the wall. Now we just need to fix termite damage and uh, get a window up here. Then we'll be free to put insulation in and, uh, and carry on with this project. But thanks for watching this video and I will see you all on the next one. Almost forgot to shut the window for the night.